Hi and welcome back to my channel. So I'm super excited about today's video because today I'm going to be sharing some places with you that are perfect for last minute travel. Um, I know a lot of us have had busy work schedules, some school schedules, just busy life in general. And so maybe you didn't plan anything for vacation this year. Um, maybe you did and for whatever reason you weren't able to go. So I want you to know that it's not too late and you can still find great travel deals for last minute summer vacation. So let's jump right on into this video. So first on my list is Montreal, Canada. And I've actually had the pleasure of going to Windsor, Canada before. Absolutely beautiful. The people were just so freaking nice. So Canada is a great place to visit. But in Montreal, in August, uh, Montreal has a pleasant average daily temperature of 69 degrees. The downside to flying into Montreal, unfortunately, is that the airfare can sometimes be a little bit pricey. Um, but of course, if you wait to the last minute to book any airfare, it's going to be more pricey. But if you have frequent flyer miles, then you'll be fine. Second on our list is Colorado, some place that I've always wanted to visit. The demand for hotels in Colorado resort towns is much lower in the summer months. And, and if you're wondering why, it's because ski season is real big for Colorado. The Weston Riverfront Resort and Spa at Beaver Creek Mountain outside of Vail, Colorado often has rooms that go for close to $500 a night during ski season. The same rooms are as low as around $200 per night during the summer seasons and sometimes you might be able to get even better deals working with a travel agent to get it for a little less than that. Third on our list is the Outer Banks. If the beach is more your idea of a summer vacation, then you'll want to consider the Outer Banks. There are plenty of hotels to choose from, but you may come out better renting a house for the time that you're going to be there. Why you ask? Well, number one, you're going to have way more room in a house than you will a hotel. And the second reason is because you will save a ton of money because you're not going to have to go and eat breakfast, lunch and dinner out. And depending on how big your family is, that can get a little pricey. So renting a house is perfect because you just go to the nearest grocery store, purchase all the groceries that you're going to need for the week and you're set. Again, your travel agent hint, hint, can help you find a great house to rent while you're there. And last but certainly not least, if for some reason you just cannot get away, then don't feel bad because there are still great deals to be had once the little ones go back to school. Late September and early October are great times to visit theme parks such as Disneyland and Disney World. And if you know me, those are my favorite. Not only are the parks less crowded and the weather not quite as hot, but you can get better deals. And let me put a pin right here real quick. You know, I've had the pleasure of visiting Disney several times, more than I can actually count now that I think about it. And every time we've gone, it was in the height of the summer months. And when I tell you it was hot, and if you know me, then you know I love the heat, but it was like 102 degrees. And when you're out at the uh, Magic Kingdom and 102 degree weather, it is not fun at all. But my daughter had a good time. We all had a good time. It was just a little too hot. So going in the fall, the temperatures won't be as hot and you'll be more comfortable. Now, if you just have to go in the summer months, I will say this. You want to go and be there when the park opens. That way you can have all your fun in about 2 o'clock, maybe 3 o'clock at the latest. You're going to be ready to go on home to, I mean, not home, but I'm sorry, go back to your resort or wherever you're staying to cool off and all that great stuff. Now, honestly, fall is one of the least expensive times of the year to stay at a Disney resort and, and or hotel. So no matter where you decide to go, always look out for ways to save money. Your travel agent, you see how this, this um, video has a reoccurring theme of using a travel agent, can compare prices for you when it comes to airfare, hotels, and resorts. And let me just throw something else in there that I didn't have in my notes, and that is cruises. Cruises are really, really great to take later in the year. Now, I had to uh, switch a cruise once. This was uh, several years back. We had put, booked the cruise, and I think it was supposed to be around July, maybe early August. But for some reason, something came up, and I had to reschedule it. 
And so I moved it to November. So I'm thinking, oh, my daughter's going to be the only kid on this ship. But, you know, we're going to go. We're going to have a good time nonetheless. Let me tell you something. When we got on that ship, there were kids everywhere. I'm talking about for the ones that are in the carriers all the way up to teens. Tons of kids everywhere. And, of course, you know, when your kids are out of school like that, they get a homework packet that they're supposed to complete and bring back when they come back to school. So my daughter had all of that. And, you know, it was really great because if you've had a chance to go on Carnival cruise ships, they have Camp Carnival and they have these wonderful, amazing people that work with your kids or, you know, spend time with your kids during the time that you're on your cruise ship. And they said, hey, look, send them on to Camp Carnival, bring those homework packets and we'll make sure everybody's homework gets done. I believe my daughter's homework packet was complete by day two. This was a seven day cruise that we were on. So I was really thankful for that. So don't think that you can't go on vacations later in the year when school is back in because, you know, most, most schools and teachers will work with you and give your child a homework packet. So those have been my tips on great places to go once your children have gotten back in school. And that will do it for this video and as always I thank you so much for giving me just a little bit of your time and I look forward to seeing you on the resorts of the world. Take care.